This past few weeks, I have been buying tarts from Wonder Folks. The tarts best enjoyed chew and can last up to 3 days in the fridge. I bought 10 different flavor tarts from them. Here is an overview. Anyway, if your tarts were in the fridge for more than 3 days, the filling inside the tarts will dry up and shrink. So this is something you guys have to take note of. For the mixed fruit tart based on the website, it consists of pet sably crust, vanilla custard with strawberries, blueberries, green grapes and peaches. In my opinion, it tastes sweet and sour depending on the fruits. It reminds me of the usual fruit tart that I ate before. It is refreshing, won't get sick of it. Everything is fresh, it is my mom's favourite. For the dark chocolate tart, based on the website, it consists of chocolate charcoal, pet sably crust, two types of ganache that I don't know how to pronounce so it will be on the screen, and dark chocolate glaçage. In my opinion, it tastes pretty good. It is smooth and not bitter. I was actually expecting it to be a bit bitter but because this is not so sweet, so I can accept that. It is one of my go-to tarts when I'm hungry in the middle of the night. For the lemony meringue tarts based on the website, it consists of pet sably crust, lemon curd and finished with torch meringue. In my opinion, it is very sour for me, hence I am not a fan. But my dad liked it because he likes sour stuffs. He said this will increase his appetite. I have to say, it does taste really lemony. For the apple pie, in my opinion, it tastes and reminds me of apple strudel. Sweet but not too sweet, it is my brother's favourite. For the hay sesame, in my opinion, this is my favourite. Incredible thick and smooth. Sesame flavour is strong yet not bitter. This is a must try. For the coffee hazelnut tart, in my opinion, this is not bad, but I would prefer stronger coffee taste. The only time I tasted strong coffee flavour is from the bean itself that were decorated on the top of the tart. I feel like these tarts have the potential to improve. For the mango passion fruit tart, in my opinion, this is so damn good. A little sour from the passion fruit, yet also sweet from the mango. I honestly think the fruit complements so well together. This is everyone's favourite, a must try.
For the lychee tart, in my opinion, there is a light lychee taste, very subtle. I'm actually not that impressed, kind of shocked that it is one of the best sellers from Wonder Folks. However, I really appreciate that the lychee taste does not have a strong artificial taste. For the raspberry ripple tart, in my opinion, strong raspberry taste due to the fruit. Sweet and a bit sour. I am actually impressed with this one. For the strawberry yogurt, this is one of their Christmas special. It will be on the menu until 31st December 2022. They also have another Christmas special tart called Chocolate Hazelnut, but I have yet to get my hand on that. In my opinion, it reminds me of Chupa Chups Strawberry and Cream Lollipop. The strawberry is sweet, but not too sweet. Strawberry flavor is definitely there, but not too overwhelming. I normally buy a box of six, which costs $42. But if you choose to buy only one tart, which is approximately 8 cm, it will cost $8. Whole tart, which is 20 cm for 6 to 8 packs, will cost $45. If I'm not wrong, based on the website, you can only buy the 20 cm whole tart online. If you want them to keep some of the 8 cm tarts for your collection on the day itself or delivery, which will be $12, you can follow their Instagram and direct message them. They sold out pretty quickly, so I highly recommend to direct message them the flavors you want. Overall, I really recommend you guys to try Wonder Folks Tarts. It is actually wonderful. I really love the pie crust. I find it quite fragrant and not bland. Kind of remind me of shortbread. Hopefully, they have more flavor soon because I definitely will buy it again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.